Hi there and thanks for joining this brand new edition of Entertainment News on Channels TV. As always, we'll bring you exciting news and updates that keep Nigeria on the global map as far as showbiz is concerned. I'm Mayawa Ugundili. On the show, check out highlights of the just-concluded Africa Fashion Week Nigeria. Music stars and lovers party hard with DJ Obi. And stars of Absolutely Fabulous return in a spin-off movie. Details and much more coming your way right now. Nigerian disc jockey Obi Adju Onuma, simply known as DJ Obi, successfully broke the world record in the longest running DJ set over the weekend. The syndicate records in house jockey and son of late media personality Livi Adju Onuma broke the previous 200 hours in the early hours of the eighth day for the longest running DJ set and carried on for several more hours till the tenth day. Obi's Instagram announcement on June 21st set the entire industry abuzz, with several music stars and popular individuals paying him visits regularly starting from day one, June 22nd. The previous record for longest DJ set was achieved on November 19, 2014 by Nobata Loco in Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> Obi broke that record over the weekend, attracting friends, family, music stars and hundreds of fans to a neighborhood cafe in Lekki, Lagos. The vibes is on 200%, like if there's anything more, like it doesn't sound like this DJ, as, as in, it doesn't sound like this is somebody that has been playing for like how many days and everybody will, the place is crowded and we've been dancing like Zens and since I give him kudos, like seriously, I'm amazed, no sincerely, this is my first time here, I've been seeing on Snapchat and all that and I learned that he can't sit down, he has to stand and do that, oh boys, what's happen? are you going to look for Bokara? I don't buy me. Don't worry, like seriously, I'm, I'm really, really, really proud of him. It was very, very tough. At some point, he looked so like tired and worn out. And you know, sometimes like, it looked like he was about to give up, but I brought him ice cream and cake to pep him up one day, so he was like, good timing, so it was good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's amazing because like it just shows human endurance and what you can put your body through, like lack of sleep, really. And here we are. Here we are. All right then, um, Kafi broke a world record, DJ Obiatu has broken a world record. Who do you think is next? Which Nigerian entertainer would you say is next? I don't know. Well, maybe me. I'll break the record for who can sing about anything at any time of the day. Just singing about rubbish for like 100 days. I myself, I do it. Yeah, I can do it. I will believe in you, girl. <laughs> I know, please don't let me start. I beg, I beg, I beg. With the record already broken, Obi kept his hands on deck, with a mind to set a new 240-hour record, despite the grueling demand the exercise placed on his health, both physical and mental. Latest world record breaker. Oh my God, how do you feel right now? I feel very exhausted, I'm very sleepy, I'm very tired. I haven't slept in nine days now. I miss my bed. Aww. <laughs> How are you though? Anyway, um, how did this idea come about? Like, how did this whole thing come about? I mean, as a DJ and as a brand person, coming from the kind of family that I come from, we always plan ahead. We plan in silence. I was looking for, you know, a way to promote my brand as a DJ globally. But it's one thing if you have to pay different PR agencies in the States, in the UK, here in Nigeria, anywhere else you're trying to be at. And I was just like, this, there has to be that one person that can just knock it out. Guinness Book of Records, because that's worldwide. You're in there, you're good. At least on the PR front. And then you now do the, the footwork and the hustling into booking gigs and all that kind of stuff in different countries. But that will take care of a major PR for you, so that's how it came up. 
Um, somebody had mentioned it in, um, at the White Wildflower PR conference. And uh, I went home, researched about it, and uh, followed suit. All right, give us an idea how you have been coping. Like, how has it been? Hours and hours of not sleeping. You know, some people say you've been hallucinating sometimes. I mean, give us this, what, what, it, what has it been like? Um, it's been tough. I've, I've pushed my body, man. I push my body to, I don't know, I, I, I won't say it's a final limit, but I push my body to the limit. Where I, I can't use the bathroom when I want to, I can't leave and just sit down, relax, come back. I'm, I'm restrained to a 12 hour window at least, you know. Um, but it was crazy it was, and it was challenging, but at the same time it was refreshing to do something different. You know, I, I wasn't if you listen to the feedback. It was just kind of embarrassing and hurtful. At the same time, it was, I don't know, I don't think it's good because it was something I've never experienced before. But uh, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't wish anybody treat your body well because your body will take control if you're not handling it the, the right way. Um, around this space, I can eat, I can drink whatever, eat whatever, but I can't leave here uh, except this time, except that during the allocated break time, which are like uh, 20 minutes after every four hours or an hour after every 12 hours. There was a day I had to hold my pee for two hours here. I, I kept dancing and people thought the music was that good and I'm just like, no, I need to really pee. You know, but it was, it was very challenging, I liked it. Now the support has been amazing, there's no doubt about that. We've seen Don Jazzy, we've seen, I mean, there's Diban here right now, a lot of people. How, do, how does that make you feel, like the only industry? I'm not gonna lie to you, in my entire plan, <laughs> none of this was expected. It's brand new, it's, it's unexpected. It's amazing because I feel like we were looking for that something different. We're, people were looking for it, but we're not talking about it. And the moment I put up a video and I said I was trying to, you know, go for a Guinness Book um, Record Challenge, it, the, the support came out, right? Like, immediately I posted it, there was the comments, you know, the people calling, people wanted to come and see me. I was just like, oh wow, I didn't know you people were going to pay attention to this, you know? But I really want to thank everybody that has done anything for me in this past week. It's been crazy. Thank you guys for being there for me, for supporting me, for the prayers, for the laughs, everything. Just thank you. Thank you, Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. Syndicate Records boss and lead act, Lynx, expressed pride in his colleague achieving the feat. The singer, who recently made public his newfound relationship with God, said prayer was a major part of the preparatory process. A lot of training, um, a lot of mental training, preparing his mind not to sleep for 10 days. You know, the human body is not wired like that. So, a lot of training, a lot of mental preparation, a lot of meditating, a lot of rest, and mostly a lot of prayer. A lot of prayer. If you want to do anything, you have to be the best, and that's what we've been told growing up. So he's putting his mind to it, just being focused, determination, and him just being able to go out there and strike it out. It's, you know, it's a great, it's a great big deal, and I'm really proud about him. Guests continue to party till Obi hit the 229th and 58th minute. The industry now awaits an official verification to pronounce DJ Obi as the official new holder of the title World Record Breaker for Longest Marathon Club DJing.